Hello and welcome back to my channel. You are watching IT Master Tech News channel. Today we are going to unbox the Galaxy Watch Active, <coughs> which is recently released and uh, the new watch that came in 2019 from Samsung. Uh, it is, uh, as you can see, lightweight smartwatch. Advanced auto fitness tracking, heart rate, GPS, water resistant 5 ATM, 50 meters. And everything in the backside is Arabic because this is the from Samsung Dubai. And this side of the box has the production manufacturing date. Actually, it was manufactured February uh, 2019-23. The model SMR500 color black, printed in Vietnam. Samsung Galaxy Active and here is the Samsung logo and that's it. Let's move on and uh, unbox what, uh, see what we have inside. After the unboxing we will compare it with the Honor Magic Watch so you can see because this is very small watch. Okay, here is the watch with the, the replacement strap. And as you know, this year Samsung is putting all the paperwork upper side, so a lot of times you can miss it when you open it. No instructions, but they are hidden, it's here. Actually, they are nothing interesting, but just to show you, warranty card and paperwork. Moving forward. This is the watch itself, it's uh, 40 millimeters. This is very small, it's like uh, for the small wrist. The back side is, again, is a glass Samsung Galaxy Active and this is the heart rate monitor, full day heart rate monitor. And that's it. Let's move on. Here's the other strap which is for the bigger size, if your wrist, in case it's you at all straps, both straps are 20 millimeters. And here is the wireless charging gradle. This is uh, Apple Watch uh, type of wireless charging. What we have here, it's five volt, one ampere, made in Vietnam, wireless charger. Uh, but it uh, don't include the power brick, so you can use any kind of USB power source like computers or the watch chargers or the phone chargers. Actually, this is the unboxing part. Let's turn on. Yeah, Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. Our one is the black color. Uh, also available the three other colors, uh, blue, the green, bluish blue, and the rose gold and the silver. The black one is a uh, classic color, as you know. And the straps, uh, this part is, a lot of people saying this is copied from the Apple Watch, but actually this is different because Apple Watch is using other type of the connection and this one goes first here then it goes under uh, this so you will have a good uh, connection so the screen is uh, super AMOLED made by Samsung so let's move on and connect it with the watch then I will come back real quick to see what we can have there and comparing with the Honor Magic Watch. Stay tuned, guys. So we are connected. Watch is ready to use. It says the swipe left or widgets. This is the how it looks like on my wrist. It's actually the small watch. You can see it's next to the Honor Magic Watch. 
if I put like this, because the owner magic is also the smaller than regular 45, 46 millimeter watches. So it's a comparison. So you can imagine before you buy the one, how looks the 40 millimeter watch. And here is the uh, Honor Magic Watch has the 1.2 inches OLED screen and the Samsung one have the 1.1 inches. The screen quality is much better. I can tell that. Let's I remove it from my wrist so we can move and see what else it's packing. Actually, let's uh, follow the guides. Swipe left for the widgets, daily activities, swipe right to go to watch faces, and then the list. Take your photography. This is the notifications. Press the home key, view apps. This is the apps, and uh, as you know, there is no digital crone in this watch, so uh, drop down so you can have the whole information and the touch screen with your palm to make it black. That's it. So we are done. All done. Enjoy your watch. So this is how it looks like on the black watch. The back side is, as you can see, it's uh, illuminating the green light. This is the heart rate monitor. You can use the all day heart rate monitor. Uh, moving forward, there are uh, some customizable uh, watch faces. As you know, the Samsung is doing very nice watch faces and you can have a lot of more than 50,000 in their store. So this one, maybe this is will be good for the blue color. Hello Bixby, access to microphone. No, we don't know the Bixby. Okay. No. Let's change and see all the watch faces. This one is uh, for the silver color. Still looks nice. And for the comparison, let me show you the Huawei screen. These are both the Super AMOLED screens, but I think the Samsung one is much better. Let's put the some uh, similar watch face to the Huawei's, if there is one. No. Actually, let's put this one. Yeah. And I think, in my opinion, uh, Samsung's color are much accurate and uh, brighter. In the case, both are Super AMOLED screens, but Samsung is doing much better. Let's move on. But this button is back button, actually, and this one for application. Uh, as you understand, there is no digital crown. They removed it, but we use it like this way. If you want to move them, we move through this. Transfer tracks from your computer to watch. Uh, music manager. Let's go back to the apps. Uh, actually, it's working this way, but it's, uh, believe me, this is some kind of uh, harder than the regular digital crawl. But it is what it is, because this is a small watch. The one thing, and I don't understand this uh, thin bezel, because the watch is smaller, and uh, the OLED is uh, the screen type of screen that don't need the backlight. So it's possible to make screen bigger uh, from the edge to edge, because this will be will have the big, as you can see on the camera, maybe you can see there is a bezel. And this the screen actually. So this bezel is too big. In my opinion, they can make it small, smaller, a thinner, and uh, we will have a uh, much space on the screen because the 1.1 million uh, million inch uh, screen is, believe me, it's small. In this case, the watch is itself is small. The 
watch made from the uh, stainless steel with the colored uh, the different colors and uh, very nice finish very solid the quality is always top as the samsung does and the price is 199.99 us dollars you can get in official store in us and uh, worldwide i think it depends from the countries with the currency so it has a lot of options for active people like uh, using the for g in the gym and you can take it to the uh, pool uh, as it's working and uh, under the water samsung health if you use the samsung health application you can track all your day with this watch and the other part you can see as the usual smart watches do and the samsung tizen os is doing this watch cover all that part tizen os is, in, is much better than android wear because it's working fast phone is packing the exynos uh, 9110 chip and uh, it has the four gigabyte of ram 768 megabytes four gigabytes of rom and 768 megabyte ram so comparing to the quick comparison for, to the honor magic it's actually they are different uh, shape different color and uh, as I was wearing this uh, Honor Magic for more than two months and I can say that this is not small uh, uh, after the 45 millimeter watch but this one I feel very small so but uh, uh, I think I can use and wear it so this is also have a different uh, kind of experience and the Samsung is doing good so 200 bucks for this watch believe me it's uh, good and i think after the six month price will little drop as usual samsung devices are having this anyway let's check if there is a always on screen on this watch under the settings watch faces always on in case it's always on let's see what happening so it means it will dim or it will stay like this always on screen yeah, it shows the 56 yeah i think it's uh staying like that which is good but why it's what is the always on it goes off so uh, here is the uh, shortcuts that accessible this is do not disturb this is bluetooth turn off this is vibrate mode and do not disturb is you can select the time for that or else this is the screen uh, brightness which I think five is okay because seven was the too much brighter. This one is much better. Let's put the some colorful. Yeah, this one. Yeah, the screen quality is very nice. As I told you before. What about, about this? Theater mode on. This is like you in a movie watching movies in the theater so it will not blink and disturb the people next to you what about this one watch always on watch always off and this one ah, it's looking for bluetooth headset because you can use the watch to uh, listen your music without carrying on your phone so let's stop this because we don't have a, a wireless headphones nearby what else here is airplane mode what's this yeah this is the mode for the water underwater mode which will have more capability now 
we go back from here. Press on turn case to water lock mode. Okay. Okay, we remove the water lock mode. So this is default power mode. Which always on. The power is always learning of your habits, so it can arrange the battery work time according to your usage. And here is the other. This is looking for the phone, find my phone. This is all other devices also have this. This is the GPS and this is the Wi-Fi icon. So this is it guys. This is this was the quick review of the watch. I will tell more after I will use it like to, uh, two weeks or three weeks and, I went, and then I will tell my opinion because I like the smartwatches started from the Motorola 360 generation 2. That's it. Stay well, stay cool guys. Hit subscribe and like button if you like my videos. See you in the next one. The next one will be Vivo V15 Pro. Stay well, stay cool. Bye bye.